My name's Peter Jones. Uh, I'm the director of the Clark for the East of England, and I'd like to extend a very warm welcome personally and also on behalf of the core team of the Clark who have uh, put this day together with the partners in the Clark. Um, this is a showcase where we're trying to begin to uh, publicize and think through some of the work that we've been doing over the past 18 months in the Clark East of England, some of it growing on a previous five years, others new to the Clark in this new regional venture. We should always start by saying, well, what on earth is a Clark? Well, we are the Clark. It's a collaboration. That's the most important word in Clark. It's customer-focused R&D. It's co-production, thinking about what questions need to be answered and answering them with the people who need those answers. Russell Hamilton, who's the uh, head of NIHR at the moment, he describes Clark's as one of the most interesting experiments that NIHR, the National Institutes of Health, have done in their decade or so in remodeling research and development for health and social care. Just to remind you, um, we're one of 13 Clarks in this round, funded by the National Institutes of Health Research, but only pound for pound if we can get matched funding from partner organizations, which is really about aligning their staff time and thought into this partnership R&D model. And we build capacity, we also undertake high quality applied health and social care research and that's what we'll be listening to and celebrating today. So the aims there, we want to develop and conduct applied health research, get those findings pulled through or translated into improved outcomes for patients and the general population as a whole. And in, increase the human capacity to do that. So of course that's not just about developing more researchers, it's also about making organizations more ripe to use research findings to make sure that they are receptive and involved in research. And of course the whole point of this is to improve outcomes, improve people and population outcomes. We are across the whole region, I think there are 34 organizations currently involved in our, uh, our collaboration, I think that's really exciting and they're very different types of organizations charities industry community partners acute trusts mental health trusts of course one of them being our host cpft so we're active all around the region um one change that uh, we've had in the past 18 months in our new clerk is working closely with the eastern academic health science network that's very important because the AHSN can be the vehicle for taking through some of our research findings into practice and also reflecting back questions that need to be answered. And I'm very pleased that in the program uh, we have a presentation by Julian Dixon on the work of the EH EHSN. That also makes me think of our new Clark board chair, uh, Stephen Thornton, sitting on the table over there. Um, Stephen has had many roles over the past three decades in the health and social care setting in this region and elsewhere, uh, and he was for a time the chief executive of the Health Foundation, an organisation that with uh, part of its remit to be to try and improve the quality of care through research. Uh, and following that, he's also been had a number of non-executive director roles in very relevant organisations. So. Stephen has thought very deeply about this area and um, we're now, during this year, have begun working with Stephen as our first non-executive chair and I'm very much looking forward to um, um, uh, continuing that. I don't know, Stephen, whether you'd like to come up and ma make any comments briefly. Well, good morning, everybody. It's lovely to see you all. Um, this is my first sort of formal engagement in my new role as chair of the Clark, and uh, later on this afternoon, uh, I'm chairing my first board meeting, so um, it's going to be an interesting day. Um, I, this, I'm not going to make a speech here, uh, but I do just want to say one or two things. It's an opportunity for you to match a face with a name, but it's also an opportunity for me to say to you how delighted I am that um, I've been appointed to this role. Um, I do find it really exciting. Um, I came down to work in Cambridge 
uh, way back in the 1980s to um, uh, run the mental health services here. Um, and so mental health and learning disabilities have always been uh, areas of, of, of real serious and deep interest of mine. Then at the Health Foundation, we ended up investing quite a lot in research and practice around patient safety and patient engagement. So if you look at all those things and then look at the booklet that lays out the themes of the Clark, uh, there's a fantastic match. So that's, 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 that's really exciting. And one of the things I'm particularly interested in is the interface between research on the one hand and practice on the other. A very, very difficult interface, um, which, which lots of us, um, whichever side of that we, we, we sit on, uh, have struggled with in terms of trying to get really good quality uh, results from research into practice and then pulled through so it becomes how we do things around here um, in, in the NHS. So just a word of warning to my board colleagues this afternoon, uh, one of the things I'm going to continuously bang on about about, is about how we improve our communications um, and in that regard I absolutely love your Clark Bites. I think that kind of thing is a really really good way of ensuring that the, the work you all, many of you here do are engaged in, the sort of results of the research that you've undertaken actually get taken up um, for uh, patient um, benefit and, and for health improvement. So that's all I want to say, thanks very much. That research is organised into a number of themes and we're structuring the day around the themes. Woven into everything we do is strong patient and public involvement. And of course we also have a theme on researching how to do PPI um, at better. We'll be hearing from all those themes um, and I'm going to be chairing the day together with uh, my colleague Tony Arthur, Professor Tony Arthur from UEA, who will chair the first part of the afternoon session. Um, I think without further ado, we'll move on to the first of those themes. Um, and it's a great pleasure to introduce my colleague from Cambridge, Professor Carol Brain, who's Professor of Public Health and Director of the uh, Cambridge Institute public health. And Carol is <coughs> representing the dementia, frailty and end of life care theme and is going to talk to us about using research evidence to inform dementia diagnosis, support and end of life care. And you're going to tell us some of your success stories, Carol. So welcome. <laughs> 